still exposed. Uh, obviously, if the queen's ever come off, it's completely game over. But the, you know, that, that king is exposed. Yeah. So the knight and bishop come off. That's also game over. Well, this check is very annoying for Frank. He can't step forward now towards the center. You've got to watch out for some checks and skewers. He's running away again. And this is clever. He's done a little kind of triangle maneuver. And now the black queen is further away from the square she wanted to use earlier. He's, uh, he's playing confidently proud as well. I mean, he's playing his moves quickly now, and uh, but he's got to get out of this little series of checks at the moment. Mm -hmm. He's doing very well, uh, forcing the queen away from the king. The black queen still has a lot of squares. She's using every square possible here, Prague, and at least now the checks will dry up. The white queen is ready to come back to her king's defense and block any remaining checks. So Magnus gives up on that idea. Just gets the bishop to safety. Can white queen start giving some checks now? Can the white knight jump back to a better square? <laughs> Ever since he was gifted this opportunity, again, perfect technique. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, but it's still a question of uh, getting that king to safety. And uh, he retreats his queen. The choice of square. The white queen guards the dark squares, so the white king will have some safety potentially. Black bishop just doesn't have a safe kind of outpost to sit on. He's got a threat now. Let's try and checkmate with this bishop. Black queen wants to swing the whole way across to the g2. The white square near the white king. Imagine if uh, this would have meant he uh, still had...